Transport Genie, President and CEO. Uh, we're a traditional Web2 company looking for conversations into the Web3 space. And I'll explain how, um, why we're interested. So we're basically de-risking transportation events. When things are being transported, we started off in livestock, you don't really know what's happening in the, in the, in the trailer. And so we've developed this AI-based IoT sensor to monitor real-time precision monitoring uh, in order for a situational awareness. This is why we're solving it. It's a black box. So traceability, health, meat quality, um, these are aspects that we're solving right now. We're now becoming um, the standard for uh, real-time precision monitoring in this space. Why are we doing this now? It's a big industry. Margins and food productions are low. Consumers are demanding better traceability. And in order for that to happen, you need data. So we provide that layer. Legislation is also changing um, uh, aspects and uh, increasing our uh, adoption. And then we have this sustainability initiative, which I will explain. This is our solution. We put these IoT uh, sensors using VLE5 inside the trailer, they go and send the data, and then we have a link device, which then sends the data to our cloud. We have a content proof encryption uh, uh, patent uh, in the US, and now it has PCC, uh, PTT status. So if there's any other teams here that are worried about how data is being sent to other devices, so we thwart uh, replay attacks and man in the middle attacks with this patent. Um, and that's, I think it's pretty cool. I also like random numbers. So a hardware-based TRNG, if anybody's ever interested in that, it's a big part of crypto and on the base level. And um, yeah, we also have a, a project that we're working on there. Um, eventually it's sent to the stakeholder for them to go and create decisions. We also have this proximity-based security system. Uh, a lot of our customers now, they're experiencing theft. And so we use ultra high frequency RFID. So when things are being moved, you can go and get real time alerts of when uh, something is moved in, in an area that shouldn't be. My first patent was in um, geofencing, so I know that well. Um, and that's a big uh, play for us in 20 uh, this year. This is our attraction, uh, obviously in Canada, because that's where we're from, uh, the US, Mexico, uh, Switzerland. UK, uh, Denmark, Australia, Philippines. These are our uh, technology partners. You see Ocean there. So we've done work with Ocean Protocol. Uh, we want DAOs. We've also found bugs and fixed them. So we've also want bug bounties. And so our customers are in the traditional space. And so what, why we're in Web3 is because we wanted, uh, they want to know how else they can get an ROI from buying our sensors. So whether it's the data monetization piece that's happening and there's a gamification as well, farm to farm comparisons is still a big opportunity in this space. These are current competitions and how we are better than them. Uh, these are sensor advantages. We also have a CAN bus protocol. So we uh, things are being automated uh, automatically. And then we also use MQTT. Uh, to talk to other devices. Our carbon neutrality efforts, so we uh, spend a certain percent of the sales of our products into planting uh, trees in order to offset carbon. We have a circular economy um, piece as well, so all of our components are modular, and then we use, the, or we encourage them to uh, rent our sensors, so we have a, an MRR, and also a way for them to properly um, recycle uh, sensors. So uh, these are our metrics. Our ass, we just want to talk to people. That's how we do. Uh, and see if there's any uh, synergies. Thanks. That's your team and contact info. Thank you.